What's up everybody and welcome back to the second video and for this one we are looking at the sparring practice quests as you can see here which are the ones that I'm scrolling through. Now the only one that isn't showing is the one where you have to damage enemy players before they damage you and that's because I did this one way before I started doing the videos pretty much when it first came out but that one's pretty self-explanatory. You can do that one easily in Team Rumble. Just walk up on someone before they can see you and pop, pop, take them out. So these kind of work like bounty boards. You start them like a bounty and the only thing though is when you start a bounty, it gives you the bounty right away to whichever player is closest to you. But for this one, as you can see, I just got one right now. I think you have to wait for another player to access the versus bounty board as well. But once you do get the challenge, you'll see this little red sphere on the map. And that is where your versus opponent will be. So you pretty much have to make your way to them. Hopefully win the battle. So here I am going back to the same spot to start a versus. And as you can see, I already got the challenge done to join a versus battle in different matches. And that's the easy part. Now this time I'm doing it in doubles because my son needed help with his challenges as well. So we're doing it together. So here we are starting our third bounty. And there it is. So this is the second step. So now we have to do it five times. So now we have to start a versus battle in five different matches. So luckily they were pretty close by. So yes, yeah, so the first for the first step you have to join two in two different matches. For the second step, it's five in five different matches. And for the last step, it's ten in ten different matches. So it's 17 total matches. Yeah, it uh takes a while. So this is the same match from the fight that you just saw a few seconds ago and we started a bounty and it took a while but we finally got one and as you could see someone accepted the versus battle. So while we were out hunting for the target, as you'll see here, another player actually knocked out our target first and it gave us the challenge. You can start a versus battle and wait for someone else to start it as well. And I suppose you could just wait around and hope that somebody else takes out your target and it does give you the credit. So that there is also another option, which is pretty nice, but someone else has to knock them out before the time limit runs out, which is always up to chance. Now all we have to do is just start versus battles, get the credit, quit the match, rinse and repeat. Alrighty, so now that we've done two different matches, five different matches, now we have to do 10 different matches. <sighs> this was fun. Now this one I did in Team Rumble, which is to damage opponents with the Kamehameha There's wave. two ways to get this in Team Rumble. You could wait for a um, Capsule Corp capsule to fall out of the sky and um, try to beat everyone else to it, which I had no luck with. Or you can get lucky and find a Dragon Ball Z vending machine and buy a Kamehameha wave. Now, I would recommend only use the two charges and then either get killed or die. That way when you respawn, you respawn with the three charges again. That way you can just keep using it over and over and over again. And all we have to do is get 300 damage with it. And it's easy and a heck of a lot of fun. 